Jetzt filmen wir. Hi. Uh, welcome, Sylvie. I'm happy to be here. Me Great. too. Great to have you. So, uh, to introduce Sylvie, um, Sylvie is a photographer based in Berlin, Germany. Um, we love her photos, so we invited her to the photo house um, to talk about some photos. Um, okay, so let's start with the first picture. Um, we have this picture here. Uh, what's the story behind that picture? The story was, um, I got my iPhone in 2013, in the end of the year. And I didn't believe in this great quality and everybody was telling me that and I was really like, okay, let's see what's, what's happening with that. And I really, really was really, not really shocked, but I was really impressed by the quality. Mm -hmm. Because kids and my kids are very lively, like mm -hmm. everybody is. And capturing was this, this only little moment of really seeing him relax, mm -hmm. putting on his grandfather's head mm -hmm. and just enjoying the sun. And it was really mm -hmm. like, wow, I love that moment and I have to catch it. This picture here. Mm -hmm. This is Esther Hase, uh -huh. a really, really good photographer, really known in German, mm -hmm. in Germany, I, uh, I mean. And um, this project, she was, um, it's, it's called Amazon, mm -hmm. Amazonen, Amazonen in mm -hmm. German. Mm -hmm. And um, she, what was really hitting me is she really give back this, these women who lost their breast. It's about breast cancer, it's a yeah. project about breast cancer. Mm -hmm. And um, they give, she gives them back their dignity, their mm -hmm. joy and their beauty. And, the first time I looked at the picture, it was like, oh wow, that looks like Helmut Newton for me. Mm. And the girls were really, you don't see the breast that they lost it. Well, at a second glance, you see it. But I was so impressed um, about this wonderful project mm. and the way she really f make them feel beauti beautiful again. <laughs> Next one, color. Madame Peripeti. She Who is, is crazy. Madame Peripeti? <laughs> She's an artist. She's really between art and commercial. Uh -huh. And she's really pushing the borders with colors, with working with materials, mm -hmm. trying out hair. And she's just like really, she says everything that is in your Im imagination, it really exists. I love the colors, I love the way she's, Im she's playing with people, playing with hair, playing with materials. Mm -hmm. So it was really also, yeah, kind of getting to, to into it, more into it, more mm -hmm. into the subject, just trying out everything. Mm -hmm. Next photo. Yeah, this is uh, Guy Bourdin, uh -huh. really great French photographer. I think it's very known. Mm -hmm. And he really already changed the, the way they present fashion. And this mm -hmm. was really interesting. He was telling a story about it. So the people looking at the pictures were like, oh, wow, it's not only about the, about the shoes. It's about telling a story about the shoes. Mm -hmm. And was this photograph, um, was it for a professional fashion shoot? Was, was it for a, for a calendar for Pentax? Ah, okay, yeah, for like, Pentax calendar. Yeah, wow. for Pentax calendar, yeah. And for that time, I really it's think he was really risky. white, yeah, risky, yeah. and he was really looking into the future already. Mm. Next photo. Uh, it's from Brooke Shaden. Yeah, what I really found interesting when I watched the tutorial of her, she was really putting so many pictures and Photoshop together, so uh -huh. many different lightning situations. Okay. So c for creating these kind of worlds and like fantasy worlds in a way. And it's really emotional. And I, when I watched these videos, I got to know her in a way. And I really liked that she was sharing it. Mm. Like everybody can watch it and everybody can have a look and understand what she's doing and why she's doing it. It's very emotional. She's very emotional. She's really open up. And like, yeah, okay. I really like that. It's, it's, the pictures are really different, what she's mm. doing, but it's always a lot of fantasy in her head. Let's have a look at that one. Yeah, this is uh, from Katzing. There's uh -huh. two photographers mm -hmm. from us, Austria. Okay. And two different photographers working together, where mm -hmm. I really liked it. Mm -hmm. And they're really different about the way they work, but they fit so good together that they really create great worlds. I mean, this is. Nothing in well, there is a bit Photoshop, but there's no retouching in a way. Mm. I mean, they had these thousands of birds in their car, stuffed animals, yeah. and they created this for a calendar, for a hunter calendar for women, okay. which I really found, found very interesting. Okay. And they really was go were going through the country, through Austria, and putting these sceneries, and everything uh -huh. was has to be perfect it's photoshop of course mm. but she really was putting everything in the in the in the corner she was putting the stuffed animals in the in the edge there the woman had to really be straight and it was so like 
No, well, a lot of creativity, but a lot of also determination and clear positioning. So I was really impressed about their work. And yeah, I started to, to take pictures when I was the age of 17. Mm -hmm. I'm really happy about portraits. I'm always okay. happy about um, getting to know people, mm. getting to know their different way, putting them in new surroundings and getting new characters out of them. And yeah, right now I have a lot of clients, but also a lot of business pictures. Mm. But it's always interesting also okay. because it's the same work because you always try to get this to the point, to the mm. person, to, to try to understand who is this the one. So it's like a connection. For me, it's mm. always important that you get connected to the person mm -hmm. to understand, even if you only have one or two minutes, mm -hmm. just try to get them at ease and feel comfortable. Mm. And yeah, my love work is really to create, create sceneries, okay. create people, put them in new Fantastic. surroundings, and well, we'll see. Cool. Well, yeah. thank you so much for coming. It yeah, was a you're pleasure. Welcome. And. Um, I see you on the desert island oh, with these six pictures. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put them around me. <laughs>